Welcome. On behalf of the Computer Science Education Program at the University of Northern Iowa, I'd like to welcome you to this new and improved version 3 of an introduction to programming with Scratch in education, or as it's come to be called over the years, simply the Scratch course. In completing this course, you're joining the approximately 1,000 teachers from all 50 states and over 25 countries who've completed this course since its first offering in 2014. My name is Dr. Ben Schaefer, and it's my voice that you'll be hearing in the videos that you'll be viewing during the duration of this course. Additionally, you may have the opportunity to interact with me, whether that's via email or an online chat or video chat. Regardless of whether we get a chance to ever meet, however, I wanted to make sure that I welcome you to what I hope will be a very beneficial course for you. Through the learning units in this course, you're going to get a chance to explore and interact with Scratch, a programming language that I've found to be a very powerful graphical environment for students of all ages. During this course, you won't learn every last feature of Scratch. However, the content of this course was designed to give you enough exposure to a wide variety of commands and applications so that you can feel comfortable introducing Scratch to your own students. I've personally been teaching Scratch since 2007, and during that time I've had the opportunity to teach it to elementary students, secondary students, college students, and adult learners, mostly in-service teachers like yourself. I've discovered that Scratch is an exciting way to engage students of all ages and experience levels with the creativity and problem solving that is associated with computer science. I'm hoping that over the modules in this course, you too can begin to see how Scratch can be incorporated into your classroom regardless of your teaching discipline. The modules contained in this course are designed to be appropriate for a wide range of learners. We're confident that if you give the course the time it deserves, roughly three to five hours per unit, you will come away being comfortable using Scratch with your own students. As you complete the course, you'll notice that the bulk of the lesson videos were prepared in short segments, and I'm talking to you as though we're sitting next to each other and you're working along on your computer at the same time. That's because that's exactly what I encourage you to do. Take the time to work along with the videos and explore additional functionality at your leisure and comfort level. Understand this, you don't actually have to become an expert at Scratch to teach with Scratch. You only have to learn enough to point students in the right direction. From years of experience, I'm going to tell you that a significant part of Scratch will just teach itself if you can get your students' curiosity up and running. If you can acquire a base knowledge, students will be very receptive to statements such as, I don't know, let's see if we can figure that out together. Having said that, please know that I am always available to answer your questions. That includes not only during the duration of this course, but during the upcoming school year as you work with your own students. My suggestion to you, make sure you set aside enough time during this course to complete the activities at a comfortable pace. We do not set an expectation of a pace. So for example, this is a six week course, there are six units, but we don't enforce that you complete one unit per week although we highly encourage that. All we really ask is that you don't try to cram in everything at once. Make sure you plan appropriately and take enough time to digest what you'll be learning. Set aside two hours to get started with each unit. Watch the lesson videos, but don't just watch them straight through. Work along with them. Try things out. When an idea comes in your mind, try it and see if you can figure out what's going on. Make sure you give an honest effort to attempt the ungraded tasks. Then, after you've finished all that, walk away for a day. Let it sink in, let it digest, and then when you come, are ready, come back and attempt the graded homework assignment. And even then, when you get done with that, walk away for 24 hours, let it sink in, and then come back. It might seem like plowing through this course in a week 
one unit right after the other, one unit a day is a great idea because you'll keep moving forward. Everything will be fresh in your head. My experience has been the exact opposite is true. When you try to cram multiple modules in over a single day or even a single week, it just doesn't give you enough time to reflect and digest the material that you're learning. Try to make enough progress each week that you can take advantage of assistance from me. Now, I'm not sitting here each day of the course just waiting for your questions, but I monitor the course on a nearly daily basis. And I and know I am here to help you. I want you to succeed, and I would love to interact with you, whether it's via email or a video chat, whatever's appropriate for our situation. I'm here to help, and again, I want you to succeed. One quick side note, because Scratch is an online programming tool, it's very easy for the developers to integrate updates, including making minor modifications to the look and feel of the program, or adding and deleting new sprites and sounds and background, backgrounds. Therefore, you might see a screenshot in one of my videos that doesn't 100% agree with what you see at, at your time. In most cases, this isn't a problem. You likely will be able to understand the point of what I'm trying to accomplish and find a workaround. Having said that, if at any time you encounter a video, a graphic, a photograph, a paragraph that just doesn't make sense or agree with what you're seeing, and let's face reality, even if you find a spelling error in one of my pages, I'd ask you to feel free to send me an email. Let me know about these problems and we'll see what we can do to fix them. I want this course to be a great experience for you, and you can help me by making sure that the materials you interact with are as good as they can be. Okay, it's time to wrap this up and get started. Once again, a warm welcome. I'm excited to be working with you over this course, and when you're ready to start, click on the course materials link just above this video, select Unit 1, Getting Started with Scratch, and start working your way through the videos at your pace. Most importantly, please have fun.